On Friday, Greater Manchester Police undertook the biggest single day operation it's ever run when more than 3,000 police staff took part in a series of raids aimed at tackling alcohol related crimes. Almost 700 arrests subsequently took place, and the chairman of Greater Manchester Police Authority, Councillor Paul Murphy, has since described it as a massive success. He joins me now. Welcome to the show. Um, Thank you. A massive success, almost 700 arrests. What, what kind of crimes have these people been arrested for? Well, as you had it said, they're almost exclusively related to uh, abuse of alcohol and the relationship to, to violent crime, which, which seems to sit alongside uh, so abuse of alcohol. Could that be anything from somebody out on a Friday night? Yeah, indeed, the, the type of crime where perhaps they've attacked somebody in a city centre to um, even domestic violence, you know, as a result of alcohol. Uh, there's significant amounts of people uh, who we knew about. Um, what we had to do was coordinate this in, in a very, very proper way. Um, and I want to thank, publicly thank partners in this, um, particularly the Crime Prosecution Service, the Magistrates Courts, because to lift, you know, as many people as we did in, in two days, in effect, we had to bring them to justice and bring them to justice quickly, which was we will it a do. Bit, some people might say it's a bit of a PR stunt to do it all at oh. the same time. And if you know people are guilty of certain okay. crimes, do them one at a time and get them off the streets as soon as possible. I think that's, that's a reasonable point for people to make, but I, I think I would counter it, uh, Anita, by saying that if we'd have done it piecemeal, a little bit at a time, each division at a time, word gets around very quickly. What we needed to do was to bring people, and I'm sure that the people of Greater Manchester were delighted when we actually brought violent people, took violent people off the streets of Greater Manchester. And I, I think we should say to GMP, well done. They've made Greater Manchester a safer place because of an operation such as this. The courts now have to do their job. But this is a sort of sudden wave of taking people off the street. Yes. What's to be done in the long term? Because we see headline after headline, especially about towns like Oldham, uh, perhaps places out in the suburbs, that are more troublesome than the city centre. In, in, indeed. And uh, as a police authority, we, we're setting up a commission at the moment looking at some of the larger events. And we've also looking at, uh, and have been looking at, the nighttime economy of all ten districts in Greater Manchester, and I've been personally involved in that with the uh, executive director. What is clear is that we have a lot to learn from cities like the like city centre, like Manchester, um, that, that we seem to have, have uh, sort of set the standard. I think that in the city there's less of a problem for, for them than there is, for example, in Oldham, you're quite right. Uh, but I have to say that I think Oldham Council are beginning to address that very effectively. Uh, and, and uh, you know, credit to them. But at the end of the day, uh, Tina, uh, Tina it's, it's about people drinking responsibly. Mm. People need to understand that if you drink to excess, it leads to very, very poor judgment. That poor judgment can lead to violent attacks. Uh, you know, sometimes uncharacteristically, I have to say, also. And the and message from Operation that, Admiral is that you won't get away um, with it. We've just got to quickly yeah. ask you, because it's the big topic of the day, yeah. about Chris Grayling's comments oh, about yes. Moss Side being like a war zone. What yeah. would your response to be? Well, I, I, I know Chris Grayling, and uh, Chris will, will give what he believes to be an honest view. I've not read the report, so it wouldn't be really appropriate for me to, 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 to speak about it. I'm being briefed first thing in the morning by GMP. What I have been told is that, in fact, he didn't witness... Uh, what he claimed to have witnessed, it was actually related to him, so it's, it's anecdotal. Um, and politicians, of course, and one myself, uh, we're, we're, not, uh, we're not always prone to tell things as, as they really are. We exaggerate, and I think that was an exaggeration. If that was the case, how come you reported on this, this programme three or four weeks ago that sit, the city of Manchester is the second most visited city? People aren't put off by coming to Manchester, Absolutely. so it doesn't accord with Chris Grayling's version. Good to end on a high, Paul. Thanks very much. Lovely to see you.